Hello and thanks for joining us. You may say the energy was electric today near Waynesboro in East Georgia as state leaders celebrated what they call the nation's largest source of clean energy. Plant Vogel opened up its fourth nuclear reactor last month. Now the plant took years longer than expected, cost billions more than predicted, and critics say that's costing Georgians who pay electric rates. Anthony Montato got inside for a tour and shows us around. When you think of a nuclear power plant, you're probably thinking of those curved buildings. You know, the ones with all the smoke coming out up top. But Georgia Power says that's actually not where the magic is happening. That's all happening there in these white buildings, the ones that kind of look like a thermos. And that's, of course, where the reactors are. Reliable, consistent, uh, affordable, clean energy. And that is what our customers are demanding. And Georgia Power hopes their newest reactor will help bring all of that. Both Unit 3 and Unit 4, the newest, can power 500,000 homes each using steam to spin a generator. That turbine is spinning at 1,800 rotations per minute, which is producing more than 1,200 megawatts of electric energy that's being sent to the grid. That's John Williams, Georgia Power's senior vice president over the new nuclear reactors. He says the process isn't all that different from other power plants. The difference, instead of burning coal or some other fuel to heat up water and create steam, they split atoms. One third of Georgia Power's energy uh, will be produced by nuclear energy. Williams says the Vogel units are the first of their kind in the United States and other power companies are interested in following too. Governor Brian Kemp says he's talking with other governors who want to invest in nuclear power. And I actually talked to one over the weekend who uh, was telling me, look, we're, we're looking at nuclear right now, so I think you'll see more of that in the future. Now, Georgia Power says this whole thing is a long-term investment. They say they're trying to keep the new units open past the year 2100. In Burke County, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Those state leaders are celebrating this milestone. Critics say reactors three and four have already burned a hole in rate payers' pockets. Georgia's Public Service Commission approved a 6% hike back in December. The commission agreed to charge rate payers more than $7 billion. As a result, Georgia Power customers' monthly bills increased to help pay for the reactors. In all, the average Georgia Power customer is paying $14 a month more than before those new units went online. The reactors were originally projected to cost about $12 billion and be completed by 2017. Last year, estimates topped $34 billion. John Williams says construction on Unit 3 took longer than expected because it was the first time building a reactor like that. He says they took what they learned to build Unit 4 in half the time. 